Hey guys, now I'm going to get back here for another video, guys. Today we're looking at this Thursday night matchup between the Giants and the 49ers. Now, Saquon Barkley will probably be out for the next four weeks, so he is doubtful for this game. He would not be playing. Obviously, Christian McCaffrey is going to be the number one player in the slate and the chalkiest player in the slate as 25.5 points last week. And let's be honest, he's the best running back in football. He is going to be an absolute monster this game. But ironically enough, he is now the best running back in football anyway because Nick Chubb's out for the season. Saquon Barkley's out for four weeks. So it's really just Christian McCaffrey left at the top of that list there. I mean, I guess Josh Jacobs too, but I don't even know what's going on with Josh Jacobs at this point. Daniel Jones is the second most expensive player, and I'm not sure if Danny Dimes is going to repeat his action last week of 34.74 points. As the 49ers are a little bit tougher than the Arizona Cardinals. Glock Purdy goes against that Giants defense and should have a pretty dang good day. Debo Samuel is next on this list. And then we have Brendan Ayuk. Darren Waller, Mac Breida, uh, George Kittle. Uh, we have Darius Slayton, Hyatt, and so on and so on. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not really interested too much in putting too much value into this. Uh, giant squad I'm more interested in the other side which of course is the um what's got 49 squad on this one so my captain spot player I'm going with for this first look here and the 49ers defense is 70 8700 the 49ers defense is that high up on the list and it makes sense because last time Daniel Jones went against uh defense he um on well, primetime football you yeah, absolutely Molly whopped. So I'm going 49ers at my captain spot here. It's not too many times I love to go with a defense at the captain spot. This is a spot you want to go with the defense versus the captain spot here. I am going to go ahead and get Brandon Ayuk in my lineup here. I do have to go with someone on the other side of the ball, which obviously is the Giants. And sadly, there isn't many Giants I do like this week. Um, now that Saquon Barkley is out. You could make the argument for Darren Waller. He could have a pretty decent day. Maybe I get to him. Again, like I said, I just don't love him this week. But I'm going to go with him as one of my one play here. And then going down this list here, I'm going with the 49ers kicker. And then my final play of the week, I don't really love George Kittle. It would make the most sense here to go with George Kittle. But I just don't like him this week. Again, he's still dealing with injuries. And I'm just not too much of a fan of him. I'm not a fan of Matt Breida here. And this kind of ballpark range now. We're kind of in the ugly range, right? I call it the ugly range because now when, uh, you know, like, we have a lot to spend here. But there's not many people I like on this squad here at this price tag range. Now, if we go down a tad bit here, we have Darius Slayton. Nothing special. Hyatt is... Probably the highest upside player I think they have on their roster right now. Now that Saquon is out. But I don't love him here. And I kind of do want to go with a 49ers guy. But the question is, at what area do I want to go here? Maybe I just go with George Kittle. But I just don't I don't see the upside of him You know, having really that good of a game. But I got to say, out of all these options available, George Kittle probably has the highest upside. Out of Jennings, Elijah Mitchell, and George Kittle... Yeah, he has the highest upside here. So I guess I go with George Kittle. Um, I don't think the Giants are going to do anything in this game. This 49ers defense is absolutely ferocious. The one in the best in the league for a reason. And it's not going to be easy for, in any way, for the Giants to, let alone already been struggling this season so far, going to go now against the 49ers and do anything in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if 49ers defense has like one or two pick sixes in this game. What this game is really going to come down to, in my opinion, is the Niners dominating, but then the Giants do some crazy thing where one of their like third-string wide receivers or second-string tight ends has a crazy pass, and that's the one who ends up winning the slate for people. But definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.